Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to add a Text Mesh Pro object into a scene. So let's get going. So I'm going to hit New. And there are two Text Mesh Pro components that we can use. The first one that I'm going to show is using the standard mesh renderer. So to do that, we would go to Create. 3D object and we would pick the text mesh pro component right here which it added in the scene. Now you would want to use the text mesh pro component that uses the mesh renderer. If you want to have text like in world space like uh, damage numbers or floating numbers over characters or dialogues or things of that nature. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily use the canvas in world space to do that. I think the old uh, traditional uh, and, and trusty uh, mesh renderer is fine and has actually much better performance. So when you add a text mesh pro component, it automatically adds a text container, which is the equivalent of a rec transform that allows you to uh, define a region where the text will exist. So this is used for like, you know, alignment, for example, and things of that nature. Now, when I clicked alignment, you didn't see anything change only because the rec transform or the text container was the same size as the text, so the text didn't move. But anyway, so you have the text container, it adds the mesh renderer automatically. By default, it will pick this Arial SDF font, and here's our text that it added automatically which you can edit and change. Now there's another way to add this component. The second way is I'm going to add an empty game object by pressing shift control N. We'll just reset the transform back to the center. I'm gonna to go to add component, mesh, and pick the text mesh pro component right here. Unlike the other one, it didn't add any text to begin with, but new text. Um, that I just type here. So this is the first text mesh pro component that I call the normal text mesh pro component. Now the second one is the one that works with the new UI. So let's create a new scene. We're going to go to create, we're going to go to UI, and we're going to add a text mesh pro component. So instead of the UI text, we'll use the text mesh pro component right here. It automatically adds the canvas. And as a child of this canvas, it adds the text mesh pro component that we have right here. This one works with direct transform and obviously the canvas and the new UI stuff. Now, um, you could also do the same thing by adding an empty game object, uh, parenting this object to the canvas, and then from there going to add component, UI, and choose the text mesh pro component. Same thing again. We can add our text and then adjust our rect transform and yada, 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 yada. Now, another cool little thing or, or quick uh, trick is let's get rid of this object. Let's add a button. So we're, we want the button to be a child of the canvas. So we're actually going to right click on the canvas to bring up the context menu and we're going to add a button. Now this button added Unity automatically added a UI text component which we're going to replace by the text mesh pro one. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, select a button and change its color to blue just to make sure we can see the text uh, more easily. I'm going to delete the old text component. I'm going to select the button and then do the same thing. Right click to bring up the context menu, go to UI and text mesh pro component. In this case, the text mesh pro component automatically detects that it's going to be, that a button is selected and it adds itself uh, to the button and then it sets its uh, anchors to basically match the button so as you change the size of the button the text will always remain centered inside of it. So basically this is it for this uh, short video segment. Uh, it's sort of going back through all the basics of Text Mesh Pro to help out all the new users. So if you have any questions or comments please feel free to post. Uh, thank you for watching.